this is exactly right that event did not say no Jews allowed but we'll get deeper into that for context this is a comment that's left underneath a video that I did earlier today which TikTok is suppressing in regards to Juliana Margulies and her racist comments um, and her homophobic comments that were directed towards the black community and the LGBTQIA plus community. Juliana went on to a podcast where she had some really nasty things to say about the LGBTQIA community and about the black community. I'll insert those comments here. Well, you know, you mentioned, we talked before about the, the Holocaust education program. It is about education, you know, yeah. you know, with uh, 7,000 kids know nothing about the Holocaust, right? In 2021, I, I really saw that Trump had left this horrific hole um, when he legitimized uh, anti-Semitism by saying there are good people on both sides after the Charlottesville March, mm -hmm. which is why I started the Holocaust education program to begin with, because I truly do believe, and I'm seeing it clearly now, that education is the most important part of a child's life. Mm -hmm. It plants the seeds. It stops the ridiculousness of, look, I'm not even a religious Jew. I wasn't even bat mitzvahed. I, it's not, it's, it's, if anything like this had happened in the black community, for example, 900 protesters left stranded on the tarmac in DC on their way to the rally because all the bus drivers walked out. If that had happened to any other marginalized community, this country would be in an uproar. But because it happened to the Jews, for some reason, it's laughable. And there's just such a strange story woven into anti-Semites, anti I should say, because I'm the first person to march in Black Lives Matter. When that happened to, to um, George Floyd, I put a black screen on my Instagram. Like I ran to, to support my black brothers and sisters. When LGBTQ um, people are being attacked, I run. I made a commercial for same-sex marriages with my husband in, in 2012. Like I am the first person who, to jump up when something is wrong, as I think most Jews are, because we have been persecuted from the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. I think that's just, it's just what it is. And you're a hundred percent right. You know, if, if, if we use the wrong pronouns on college campuses, there'd be an uproar. Oh my God. Yeah. Look, look what's happening. And so, and that's not to denigrate those, the use of it, pronouns. It's those kids who are spewing this anti-Semitic hate that have no idea if they stepped foot in an Islamic country. These people who want us to call them they, them, or what, whatever they want us to call them, which I have respectfully really tr made, made a point of doing. Like, be whoever you want to be. Mm -hmm. It's those people that will be the first people beheaded and their heads played with a soccer ball, mm -hmm. like a soccer ball on the field. And, and that's who they're supporting? Terrorists? Mm -hmm. I am stunned at my industry because if it was any other, can you imagine the WGA not putting out a statement after George Floyd? And yet, when it was the Jews, the Jews, by the way, all of our great material on television is pretty much from the Jews. Like, the fact that they stayed silent for so long until they were pressured into into making a statement. I, you know, there was a there was a, a film being shown by the this black lesbian club um, on Columbia campus, and they put signs up that said "No Jews allowed." And as someone who plays uh, a lesbian journalist on the morning show, I'm. I'm more offended by it as a lesbian than I am as a Jew, to be honest with you, because I want to say to them, you fucking idiots. You don't exist. Like you're even lower than the Jews. A, you're black and B, you're gay. And you're turning your back against the people who support you because Jews, they rally around everybody. Right. Did you see um, US and the Holocaust, the Ken Burns documentary? Everyone should watch it, it should be mandatory watching, mm -hmm. especially for the black community, if I may, because got his entire playbook from the Jim Crow South. Mm -hmm. The Nazis were watching how the Jim Crow South were treating slaves and said, oh, great call. Let's do that playbook. That's what we'll do to the Jews. Which is also why in the civil rights movement, the Jews were the ones that walked side by side with, with the blacks to fight for their rights mm -hmm. because they know. And now the black community isn't embracing us and saying, we stand with you the way you stood with us? Jews died for their cause. What is the history lesson in that? Who's, who's teaching these kids? Because the fact that the entire black community isn't standing with us, to me, says either they just are, don't know, or they've been brainwashed to hate mm -hmm. Jews. But when you've been marginalized so much as a community, 
the way I feel we have, isn't that when you step up? So well, I think the brain. I think you're right. I think the brainwashing is that there's this narrative that's been created that Jews are the oppressor. Jews are genocidal. Um, when, have, when have we ever oppressed? Ever? You can use the argument for Israel. The UN. I mean, here's what here's what kills me, is that these kids are calling Jews colonialists. If you're going to go with that argument, kids, then get the fuck out of America. Right. Because you were not here first. Right. Native Americans were here, and you owe them a big fucking apology and move the fuck out. Yeah, we're the biggest occupier of all. And to your early point, the Jews in Israel are indigenous people. Like, you know, it's, but you see, that's a history lesson. As a result of those comments, Juliana is now receiving a ton of backlash. But unfortunately, like celebrities like Susan Sarandon and the the young lady that was going to be starring in Scream 7, they got they got fired, they got dropped, all of those all of those things when they said some of the things that they said, which Susan Sarandon, yeah, she was anti Semitic. It was nasty. But what the other girl said, I don't consider it anti Semitic. Not in the least. She was in support of Palestine. That is not anti Semitic in my opinion. But she ended up getting dropped from her project and yet Juliana goes on to this podcast and says some of the nasty heinous things that she said has she been dropped has she been fired from any of her projects no anywho I know where Juliana got that spin from in regards to this event this was posted up on a Twitter account called the Israel War Room. And it's basically captioned as saying, Lizzie George Griffin, president of Lion Leads at Columbia University, says 95% of Jews aren't welcome in the club. And this is the flyer announcing this event. See that little box right there? We're going to zoom into it because... That's not what the flyer said in regards to this event. Lion Les is a club on Columbia University's campus. It is for lesbian women. And Juliana Margulis, who got it from Israel War Room, in my opinion, both say that this club says no Jews allowed. Let's take a closer look at the flyer. I blew it up. I went and I dug and I found the original poster. This is it. I blew it up and this is what it says. It's free Palestine over here. Zionists aren't invited. Lion Les didn't say anything about Jews not being invited. But who did? Israel War Room in an attempt to spin. And this is what happens where you don't dig deep enough and do your own research to get to the source of what it is that you're speaking on. At this point, the way that they are conflating Zionists with Jews, I'm starting to believe that they're telling us that they are one and the same. Do you think Juliana will have any real serious repercussions? Will she lose any work for her hateful racist rant I doubt it she's come out with an apology here's her statement I am horrified by the fact that statements I made on a recent podcast offended the black and LGBTQIA plus communities communities I truly love and respect I want to be 100% clear racism homophobia sexism or any prejudice against anyone's personal beliefs or identity are abhorrent to me full stop i did not intend for my words to sow further division for which i am sincerely apologetic yeah there you go <laughs> 